Hi, my name is Thomas Binder. I'm from the Medical University of Vienna. This is an echocardiogram of a patient with a perforated mitral valve. The four-chamber view shows you dilated and hyperdynamic left ventricle, and there is significant thickening of the anterior mitral valve leaflet. Looking at the anterior leaflet more closely, you can appreciate that the thickening is located more at the base of the anterior leaflet. The tip of the anterior leaflet and the posterior leaflet do not show any abnormalities. Using color Doppler, you can see that there is a jet which passes directly through the anterior leaflet. And this is the typical feature that you will find in perforation of the anterior leaflet, a jet that passes through the valve. Again, a fairly broad jet which passes through the anterior leaflet fairly close to the septum. Using a coronary sinus view, you can almost appreciate that the defect is located here and the tissue which is destructed. Regurgitation is probably moderate to severe, if not severe. Using a parasternal long axis, we can also understand the mechanism of perforation. The patient has aortic regurgitation with a jet which is directed exactly towards the anterior mitral valve leaflet. What has happened in this patient? This patient had endocarditis previously with rupture and prolapse of the right coronary cusp. This caused asymmetric aortic regurgitation which is directed towards the anterior leaflet and which also brought infectious substances and material towards the anterior leaflet, thereby causing destruction of the anterior leaflet and finally perforation. The perforation can occur directly, but it can also di occur via an aneurysm of the anterior leaflet or the intervalvular fibrosa. So in summary, perforation is usually a consequence of aortic valve endocarditis. It involves the anterior mitral valve leaflet. It can occur with or without an aneurysm. And the echo feature that is most prominent is that of a jet which is directed through the valve.